Hey there guys and welcome. My name is Rick Huchter here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Today we are continuing our pellet testing with the three precision 18 grain-ish uh, pellets. Yeah, the JSBs, the h and and the JTSs. Uh, we've shot a lot of guns so far. We're not done yet. We've got a lot more still to go. But today we're going to be taking a look at the Hatsan Jet. Are these too heavy? Well, I guess we'll find out. Okay, so our testing today will be at 20 yards. We've got variable winds today. And essentially this is a pistol. I've removed the moderator, I'm trying to shoot it like you would basically get it. Um, I did add these little legs just because I wanted to try them out. And I have a Hawk Optic on here. Now this is a big honking scope for a teeny tiny gun, but hey, it's what I had handy and that's what we're gonna use today. So we're gonna start out with the JSBs. I don't know where we're hitting, so we're gonna take a sighter top left and see where we hit and then we'll adjust and go from there. Um, because this is unregulated, we know that we can get two mags, pretty decent consistency. So 14 shots, top off. That's going to be the, uh, yeah, that's going to be how we run today. All right, let's go ahead and take our first cider. There's not a lot to hold on to with this gun. All right, and the wind is picking up. All right, so I don't think I've cocked it, but we're going to just pull the trigger just in case. Okay. All right, let's see where we're hitting. Top right. Boy, it's loud. Okay. So we're going to move this over to the left. Come on now. Get a little down, probably. Take a shot. Okay, let's just go left. Ooh, I just pulled that. Oh, yeah, I'm struggling here. Okay. There it is, okay. All right, so this gun's super light, and I don't know that these legs are gonna be the best option, but we're gonna run with it today. I'll go ahead and fill this up, and we'll give us uh, five shots here on our target, and then, yeah, we'll see how we do the rest of the uh, rest of the group here. Here we go. One. Two. Three, way low. Four. Five, okay. All right. We got five more we can do and then we're gonna top off. Make sure we get all of our shots in the, in the shot curve. Next bowl down. Okay, we are at, I'm gonna aim one mil high. One. Two. Three. Okay, that's better. What do we got for power, for pressure here? I think we can get another five shots. We're just, we're like two, uh, 170. I think we can definitely get another five shots. Let's go for it. I think that's gonna be just fine. All right, there's five shots right in the mag. 
All right, and that one little holdover seems to be doing pretty good. Let's do that again. Oh, pulled the right one. Two. Oh, crap. That was me. I got aggressive on the trigger. That one, last one didn't count. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a mulligan. Let's not do that again, Rick. Okay. Two more. Okay. And last shot. Okay. Some flyers, some inconsistencies there. Okay, so let's top this off. We'll move over to the H&Ns now. H&Ns. Take our first shot. Top center. We're just gonna aim center and see where we're hitting. Okay, we're gonna go with it. All right, moving down to the next bowl, five shots. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right, that ain't bad. Right, we got one more shot in the chamber. We're gonna go down to the next next group here. One. Max swap. Two, three, dang it. Four. Five, okay. Next, we've got three shots here. We need two more shots. Five shots, bottom target. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And, uh, okay. Let's fill her up, shoot the JTSs, and let's wrap this up. All right, JTS. We'll start with the cider. Top right. Okay, I'm gonna aim a little bit left. Take another test shot here. Okay, we're gonna go with that. So I'm aiming one mil left. One. Two. Oh, I went to the wrong target, sorry. Three. Four. Five, excellent. Bottom, we're going to move down one. One. Two. Three. Four. 
five. That ain't bad either. All right, five more shots. It seems to drop a little bit. Uh, we're only at 20 yards, so even though we're, I brought things in close, the shot curve, I think, does get us a little bit. All right, last five shots, here we go. And I am going to aim a little bit left. Way low, one. Two, three, four. Whoa, that's really looking good. Five, I pulled it. Uh, okay, I'm going to give it one more. Just to the mulligan. Okay, yeah. Now, I think we're going to go grab that target. We'll wrap this up and... Interesting, interesting results. Maybe 18s are a little bit too heavy for this. Maybe we need to stick to the 15s. Uh, I guess we'll find that out in the full review. I'm gonna go grab that target, we'll wrap this up, and yeah, we'll call it a day. Um, I think JTS did the best. Um, I, don't know, I don't know, you could almost argue for H&N because we had this one kind of oddball group I don't know. I think it's a toss-up, really. I think, frankly, 1813s might be a little heavy for this gun. Uh, I think if we were to shoot 1589s, I think that's probably going to be more the sweet spot on this. So we'll definitely do some more checking before we do our full review and try and find the sweet spot pellet, right? Maybe even lighter, maybe 14. I don't know. But we'll, we'll do some more checking because I think 18s might be a little bit heavy. As you can see, like this is a good example. So if you start here, the JTSs, um, we're shooting pretty good here, and then it's a little bit lower, and then a little bit lower, and that's just off of full fill. So if you're if you're seeing that change of a point of impact only at 20 yards, yeah, then it's 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 not ideal, right? It's not it's not an ideal situation. So um, 10 yards, 15 yards, maybe, but 20 yards, we're definitely seeing a change in the point of impact, and we got that with the H and Ns too. So that's a pretty consistent change and I know that with my testing I did at least I think I was shooting the 1589s um, we only had like a 40 foot per second spread on two mags and we're shooting uh, 16 shots maybe right on a fill so it's pretty close to that um, it shouldn't I wouldn't have, ex have expected it to drop so much but anyway that's why we do this testing yeah we're not done yet so I think it's a cool little air gun uh, have we found the right pellet I don't think so yet that is going to wrap everything up for today. My name is Rick Yusa here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews, and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.